What is up everyone? Today is Tuesday, which means that it's time for another live Q&A all about dropshipping on different marketplaces like eBay, Amazon, and Facebook Marketplace. I'm your host as usual, Paul J. Lipsky. Today, we have a really special live stream because I have a really, really big announcement. If it wasn't already obvious from the title of the video, today I'll be announcing the reopening of my Facebook Marketplace and you'll be able to see exactly when that will be launching and all the amazing stuff that I'm going to be giving you guys for free leading up to that relaunch. So I'm gonna be announcing that in this video. Let me quickly say what's up to people that are here and then we'll get to the announcement. So we have Jose here, what's up Jose? What's up Sean, I'm doing great Sean. How's it going man? Um, Jose, yeah, we are live right now. So let's get to the special announcement. So like I said, the new, the uh, course is going to be relaunching. Um, I, I launched this course originally the first time earlier this year. And when it launched, a ton of you guys enrolled, a ton of you guys are getting amazing results, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, this is the course right here very fully comprehensive as to how to drop ship on Facebook Marketplace, everything that you need in order to be successful with that. And I know that based on my students' results. So for instance, uh, here's one of my students right here, uh, Rich. You can see how well he's been doing with the program, $3,200. Now, if you are not selling on Facebook Marketplace, you might not understand what this screen shows. But what the screen shows is down there at the bottom at 2270, 2272, those are pending payments for different sales. So he made a sale for a little bit more than 2270. And then he gets, uh, after Facebook fees, he gets what's, what's ever left over, which is quite a lot because Facebook charges very little in fees. So he gets a 2270 for that sale. The next sale is 2272. It's on a rolling basis. So his next payout or his pending balance is $3,200, but he's made more than that. That's just what's still waiting to be paid out um, by Facebook to him. So as you can see, I mean, just recently, he's done $3,200 in sales and he's done more before that. And he's done more after that, which is really cool to see. Um, here's another one of my students, Kyle here. S same thing, $2,300 in his pending balance. And obviously, it's been a lot more than that um, uh, since he's done that and before that. Here's James. This kind of gives you a better idea. James said $11,000 in gross sales in the past little about, about a month at a 48% profit margin. So a lot of times we get asked, all right, these are great numbers, but what's the exact profit margin? Well, here they are right here. Like this is not unusual with Facebook Marketplace. You can get these really high profit margins. $11,000 in sales at almost a 50% profit margin. So this stuff is absolutely working for my students. Here's Brian with $3,700 uh, pending balance. So yeah, this stuff absolutely works just with what I taught or what I put into the program when it first launched earlier this year. But guess what? I'm going to be adding a lot more into the program. Um, new stuff, you know, clarifying things just to make it clearer some brand spanking new stuff as well, including a whole mini course on how to hire and train virtual assistants, some new secrets that I've discovered that have really increased sales and profit as well. So it's just gonna be value packed this course, even more so than it already was. So the date that this is going to be launched is May 3rd of this year. So just a few weeks away, it will open back up for enrollment and then you guys have about that just five days in order to sign up. Because at the end of that week, that's a Monday, May 3rd, at the end of that week, enrollment will close again. And I don't think I'm going to be reopening it again this year. So that'll be your last chance to join this year. So if you want to get in on it, if you've been looking at it, if you looked at the launch last time and wanted to do it, but you never actually pulled the trigger on it, I know there's a lot of you because a lot of you emailed me. Well, here's your chance, your last chance for the year to, to in order to do that. Um, the other cool thing that I'm doing is, like I said, even if you don't join the course, I'm going to give you guys a ton of value in the weeks, in the next few weeks leading up to May 3rd, um, including a complete video series all about Facebook Marketplace dropshipping, how it works, how it's 
how my students are doing it, how my students are seeing massive success with it. So if you want in on that video series, that is completely free for you guys. So I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be doing videos here on YouTube as well. And if you want that free video series, uh, you guys can sign up for it. The link is in the description. So this is the page you'll land on. And then you can just click enroll for free here. Uh, there's not much here because it's a free video series for you to check out. Um, and then once you're in, it'll kind of look like this. So there'll be an intro video that you can check out. And hey, the first video will drop for this on April 28th. And then the second video is a little bit after that. And the third video a little bit after that. So um, yeah, all three videos will be available to you, uh, you know, by the end of the month. And there'll be a video intro that you can watch right now. But I'm also going to give you a free ebook. If you haven't, if you haven't gotten that ebook, there's a free ebook all about Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. Oh, I've got to show you this. My bad. All right, so this is what it'll look like when you land on the page, and then um, you can just click enroll for free, and you'll be inside this uh, this this free video series. Now you'll have the intro video you can watch right now, and underneath that video will be a free ebook for you all about Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. So if you want. You want information now if you don't want to wait for this video series to to drop then just you can still sign up for this you'll still get on the wait list for the course this this is also the wait list for the course so if you want in on the wait list for the course uh, this this is the way to do it and then as soon as you get in there you'll get that free ebook as well which is jam-packed full of valuable information in and of itself so that alone i think is worth even signing up for this to get that ebook and then obviously when the videos drop You'll get a ton of value out of that. I'll be making a ton of videos here on YouTube. Um, so even if you never sign up for the Facebook Marketplace dropshipping course, which I do hope that you do, um, you'll still get a ton of value in the next few weeks from just all this. So do make sure you click the link underneath this video to sign up for that free video series and get that free ebook included as well. All right, cool. All right, let me see who's here in the chat and what questions that you guys have or might have about this launch. And then, um, uh, let me just write myself a note here to two something. So I'm always doing a lot. Like right now I am, you know, for those of you guys who know, follow my story. I've been traveling the country full time for a year and a half in a camper van, uh, doing the van life thing, just, just exploring the country, able to do that because all the businesses I make, uh, it's really a business that's designed around my lifestyle. I want to be able to travel full time. So any business I do has to be able to, I have to be able to do it from the road, from my laptop. So that's what this has unlocked for me. All these different businesses I've created, including Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. But right now, in order to get these videos and updates for the course ready for you guys, I am renting out a co-working space for the next few weeks until everything's up and ready to go. And then I'll be able to hit the road again. So kind of a little bit of behind the scenes, I'm in this co-working space. Uh, it's a really cool space with some really awesome people here and have this little studio that I'm working in making these videos for you guys to make sure that they're the best quality and the best substance possible because that's kind of the standard that I hold myself to. All right, let's see who's here. Uh, all right, Lorenzo says, with retail drop shipping, and excuse me guys, I'm losing my voice. I'll take a little lozenge. Um, with retail drop shipping, do we have to put money away for taxes, especially if it's e eBay business payment? Um, yeah, so there's two types of taxes. There's sales tax and there's income tax. With sales tax, the marketplaces take care of it for us for the most part. You don't have to worry about sales tax for the most part with eBay, Amazon, or Facebook Marketplace. And then um, you do have to worry about income tax, but you have to worry about income tax no matter where you make your money from. So it's not really a good argument. I mean, some people say, yeah, you made this much, but then you have to pay income tax. Well, of course you do. Just if you work a job, you have to pay income tax. So I never really get get why people bring that up. Of course, you have to pay income tax. There are legal ways to to minimize the amount of taxes you have to pay, but I'm not going to get into that in this in this channel right now. Yeah. Um, all right. Awesome. So Paul saw my my ad, my YouTube ad about uh, eBay drop shipping. He, just, he listed the same product and sold his first set on Saturday. So congrats, man. That's awesome. Congratulations on getting started and get going with that. I'm mm -hmm. oh, sorry. This, this thing's getting annoying in my mouth, isn't it? 
Hey, what's up, Kimberly? What's up, Jake? What is up, Matthew and Gene? Thanks for being here. Um, yeah, so Tim says, hey, Paul, what happens if you upload a tracking number on Amazon and the tracking number shows that the item is already delivered? Would that lower your valid tracking rate? Yeah, it does. So one of the weird things about Amazon, the frustrating things about Amazon is when you're a third party seller and you're not a not doing fulfilled by Amazon, you obviously have to upload tracking numbers for your orders. No problem there, right? They expect that, that's to be expected. What's annoying is that they will look at the tracking number and see, uh, they, they only want you to upload it if it's in transit. So, you know, a lot of times you'll create tracking numbers and you won't use them yet because you're, even if you, you um, for a dropshipper, like Walmart might supply you with a tracking number, say, hey, this is your tracking number, and you check it, the item hasn't shipped out yet, but they still supplied you with the tracking number. Amazon doesn't want that. They wanna see that when you upload the tracking number, the item is actually in transit, which is really frustrating because that's the way businesses work. Businesses create the tracking numbers first. They sometimes create many, many shipments of items and then send them off to UPS, FedEx, or USPS later. So the fact that they make you wait to upload it, it's kind of frustrating and, and just doesn't make any business sense. Um, but that's what they want. Um, if you upload a tracking number so late that the item shows that it was delivered already, that's also not good. They want you to upload it when it's in transit. Otherwise, it doesn't count. Hey, hey Dave. Yeah, congrats, man. Hey, what's up, Kevin? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Give me one second. Let me get rid of this... Um, lodging in my mouth. I don't want to be super annoying with all these sounds. It's not like an ASMR thing. <laughs> yeah, Paul. So existing students, you know, I'm adding all these updates to the course. Again, um, the whole free mini course about virtual assistants. Also some new bonus stuff that we've been playing with that's been really, really powerful. I'm really excited to share that guys that with you guys. Um, no disrespect, I'm just not gonna share that publicly on YouTube, but I'll definitely highlight it for my students who are inside the course, so you know to check it out. I just don't think it's fair to reveal it publicly when it's working so well, and we have paying students uh, who I think should get that information first. And then, um, yeah, absolutely. And then you'll also get access when you join the course to the private forum. It's not like some rinky-dink Facebook group, okay? When you sign up for my courses now, you get access to a private forum, a uh, professional forum that is professionally monitored. I have a, uh, a moderator, rather, that's in there full time, making sure that things run smoothly, making sure everyone's happy. You know, you're not gonna get that with other courses or other programs. They're just gonna sign you up for a Facebook group that's very easy to infiltrate. Um, and by easy to infiltrate, I mean spammers coming in there trying to sell you stuff. I don't like that at all, okay? If you guys sign up for my course and you get access to the private group, I want that to be a good experience for you. I don't want someone sneaking in and trying to sell you something or trying to be spammy about something. So my moderator's in there looking out for that stuff. She gets rid of those people. Um, and it's harder to get in there than it is with like a Facebook group. So it's a really you know, high quality group that, you can, that you'll be able to join absolutely for free once you're uh, in the course. Uh, hey Paul, hope you have a wonderful week. I have your Amazon dropshipping course. Oh, awesome. Anyway, you can add the tax exemption video for Amazon. Um, yeah, I mean, I never really thought sellers on Amazon would want the tax exempt info on how to become tax exempt on Amazon. I'll add it to my notes to add that to the Amazon course. Uh, I always, I write things out. I don't know. It's it's kind of. Uh, I live in such a digital age. I do so much on the computer. Um, I, I love technology, but I just, I still write a lot in my notebook. Um, in terms of planning things, in terms of scheduling things, in terms of planning out my weeks, uh, I still use this a lot. I just find when I have like a to do list on a computer, it just grows and grows and grows and grows. It could be overwhelming. I just find I can organize my thoughts a lot better when I have a notebook. Nothing special. This is just a blank lined notebook, but I do put in here every day. I put in here like what's the number one thing I have to get done today. I do this every morning and then I write down three things I'm grateful for and three things I'm excited for for the day. 
And then I plan out my day, everything I have to do. So for instance, today was, uh, I put down every morning, do my morning affirmations. You know, I'm not much of a woo woo guy, but I have been doing affirmations for about the past probably six months now. And I find them really just a powerful way to get myself in a positive mood first thing in the morning. And then I have, you know, start cranking out the Facebook marketplace updates. So I came here to the co-working space, just kind of banged out a lot of those updates. And then I have this thing I call the, uh, the daily to do, which is just stuff I have to do every day, like checking my email, checking my messages, checking with my virtual assistants. That is something I do have a to-do list for on the computer because it resets every day. It's the same things I have to do every single day just to keep things going. And then I have my workout planned. I had a meeting with my buddy, Steve, we caught up. And then I had uh, this live stream here. So that's all scheduled in here. I like writing it out, um, just helps me stay organized. So I just put in here, add the Amazon tax exempt videos to the Amazon course. So I do teach in my eBay course and my Facebook marketplace course, how to become tax exempt on Amazon. Meaning that when you make a purchase on amazon.com, you don't have to pay sales tax to them because you are not responsible for paying sales tax if you are the end consumer. So because a lot of drop shippers on eBay and Facebook marketplace drop ship from Amazon, I made those videos available in those courses. But one of my Amazon students wants that video available in the Amazon course. It will take me about a minute to list that uh, same video there. So I'm more than happy to do that uh, for you guys if that's what you're asking for. What else is on my list for today? Um, I had to announce this, this uh, the launch, so I did that for you guys. And then I have to record some more videos for the course. So yeah. And then put on aloe because I'm severely sunburnt, if you couldn't tell. Spent the last week in the desert in Moab and it was really windy, so I didn't feel how intense the sun was. I got really burnt and dried out, but I'm recovering from it. <laughs> All right. So the price is the same for everyone. There's gonna be, there's no discounts available for anyone for the course. Um, the price is what it is. So don't try shopping around for a better price. It's not gonna be available. Just to make it easier, everyone's gonna get the same price. Not entirely sure what it's gonna be yet, but to be the first one to get that information, get all the updates about the course, just, just sign up at the link below for the video series. So, you, so uh, that's the wait list. Thumbs up, please, for the great host. Thanks, Sean, really appreciate you, man. Thanks for being here and looking after things in here. Is there an automation piece? Yeah, so with Facebook Marketplace dropshipping, um, one of the things that makes it, it's, it's good but also challenge is that there's really not a ton of automation available. So when you're dropshipping on eBay and you're dropshipping on Amazon, there is software that we can set up to basically like fully automate our store if we wanted to get to that point. Not saying it's a good thing to do, but you could do it. So those would automatically list items for you. It would automatically fulfill the orders. Um, so that, that possibility does exist. It doesn't really exist for Facebook Marketplace. Uh, it, I'm not gonna go too much into this because I just released a video on Sunday about it. So you should check out that video if you're really interested but the short answer is it's not available, full automation. But there is semi-automation, okay? So I developed it because I saw this problem, I was frustrated by it, that the listing process took so long. So I hired a team and we developed a Chrome extension that will list items up to Facebook Marketplace in like a second. So that's like a semi-automation. Does require you to click a button, but after you click that one button, the item is basically listed on Facebook Marketplace. So there is that semi-automation. And then you can also use something like AutoDS, which will email you once the price changes or the stock level changes for that item on the supplier's website, you'll get notified about it. So you can then make the change on Facebook Marketplace yourself. So it's not fully automated, but it's, but it's pretty well automated. All right, you uh, show up for that for that um, video series, again, completely free, first video dropping at the end of the month for you. All right. Hey Paul, do you plan on making a private Discord server or maybe a forum on the Dropshipping Titans website? I've tried joining your Facebook group, but Facebook will not allow me to create a profile. Uh, actually, that's been done already. 
So I don't know if you're aware of that, but all you have to do, if you're a member of any of my courses, we no longer use Facebook groups. We only have a private forum. So all you have to do is go to tribe.dropshippingtitans.com and click on the big blue, and uh, it'll ask you to log in. Click on the big blue button to log in, and then log in with the same username or email and, and password that you use for the course, and you'll be able to access the Titans Tribe, which is an online community. It's one place where there's there's different sub forums for the eBay course, the Amazon course, and for the Facebook Marketplace course. So you can go in there and just yeah, post in there. There's no more Facebook group. Uh, depends what state you're in too. For income tax, I think you mean? Or for sale, oh, for income tax and sales tax, yeah, it depends what state you're in. All right, guys, I, I do not condone creating a stealth account under a fake name or fake social security number. That's bad, bad idea. I just would not mess with that stuff. If you're gonna create a stealth account, do it under a real person's name. Do it under a friend's name, a family member's name, a girlfriend, boyfriend's name. Uh, that's really the only way that stealth accounts reliably work. Hey, what's up? Thanks for being here. Yep, I agree, man. Uh, All right, I'm already on the wait list and have your Facebook Marketplace ebook. How do I access the link for course videos before May 3rd? Cool. Um, yeah, for the free video course, yeah, you will have to uh, sign up uh, at the link below if you haven't done, uh, even if you signed up on the wait list before, because you do have to create a, a, a login for this portal because it's basically a mini course uh, on dropshippingtitans.com. So you will have to <clears throat> sign in to this portal so that when the videos are available, you'll be able to watch them and you'll have to create a sign in for that. My pleasure, Albert, thanks for being here. Actually, maybe I will uh, send myself a note. To, I'll just anyone who's on the wait list, I'll I'll add to that mini course already. To mini course, so you guys don't have to go through the sign up process again for that. But do it anyway. <laughs> How much can you scale up Facebook Marketplace, Paul? Is the sky the limit, or is there a cap? What are the scaling and automation capabilities? So I did talk about the, the automation capabilities to a degree. You can list items pretty fast. You can um, have like auto DS check for price and stock changes. So you're not doing that, but you still have to, again, click a button to list items. You still have to manually make those changes and you still have to fulfill orders manually. Now, so really the limiting factor is time for this. Now, Big question I'm getting is how can you have virtual assistants work on your stores, on your store? Because what has happened to a lot of people is one, they don't want to give virtual assistants access to their Facebook account because it's their personal Facebook account. I get that. I was very skeptical about doing that myself. Um, so the first part that I'm going to be adding to my Facebook marketplace course, the, the free mini course about virtual assistants. I'm going to teach you how you can have virtual assistants work on parts of your store without giving them access to your Facebook account. And there's a lot that they can do uh, without giving them your password for Facebook Marketplace or letting them log in at all. And then if you do want them to log in, we have found a way to do that successfully. So in the past, well, I wouldn't say in the past, uh, what's been happening is a lot of people, not a lot, some people have try to let virtual assistants access their Facebook Marketplace account, and it's had bad results uh, because the virtual assistants they're hiring are from the Philippines or India. So Facebook sees this random person logging in, it looks sketchy, and so they kind of shut things down on, on the account. Excuse me. So uh, we have found a way to get around that successfully so that our accounts don't get shut down, and I'll be teaching that uh, inside the course as well so that if you do want to access or have your VA access your Facebook Marketplace account safely, I'll show you how to do that. <clears throat> um, the price should is probably gonna go up and that's just based on student results. Um, 
you, you know, I mean, the numbers, the numbers are what they are, right? Um, I can't make these up. So based on these results, you know, what is the value of the course? You know, if James here is, is making whatever 48% of $11,000 is, then I think the course is worth at least that much. I'm not going to charge that much, but you can kind of get an idea of how much value there is in the course. And based on that, yeah, the price is, is going to be going up. Um, um, it depends exactly what you're doing. Uh, something like IP Burger is great. Uh, it might be too much for what you're doing. It really depends on, on what it is that you're trying to do with a VPN. Okay, how do we sign up for the Facebook Marketplace program when it opens May 3rd? So Cecilia. So best thing to do, Cecilia, is to sign up for the waitlist, the link below, because then you'll get emails about it. Um, you should also join the free Facebook group I have because then you'll get you'll get messages in there about it. Um, you can always just go to dropshippingtitans.com forward slash P forward slash Facebook. Um, but right now that's just gonna lead you to a waitlist. Um, but you can always check on there on, on May 3rd, but best thing to do is sign up for the wait list at the link down below. You'll get the free video series. You'll get notified exactly when the course is launching and the link to it. All right. So Richard doesn't sound like you're in the course, so I'm not sure why you were suspended. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be adding a video on how to do that. I can't guarantee it will work, but I know it's worked for, for other people that they've had issues with. Thank you, Bryce. Yeah, the link is under this video. <laughs> Sweet. Hey Paul, what do you think about AutoDS and uh, SKU Grid? What do you prefer and why? And is AutoDS only for dropshipping in US or worldwide? I think AutoDS works in multiple markets. I'm not positive of that. No, it does work on US. Um, I prefer AutoDS. I think it's a lot more beginner friendly. It works with the suppliers that I, that I like. So, you know, even though SKU Grid has more suppliers, it's not really a huge issue for me because AutoDS works with so many suppliers that I like. And I just like how, how user friendly it is. Um, just very easy to use, I think. Thanks for your video, says Flourishing Flow. If an item takes longer than a month to deliver on eBay, how do I not get a ding after that on eBay? Um, so if you set the right handling and shipping time, as long as you ship within that time, the handling time, and as long as it, or your, your drop shipper or the, the supplier does, and item gets delivered on time, you're not gonna get a ding for it. But in general, I, I, well, I don't drop ship from China anymore. Um, and therefore I don't have to worry about those long shipping times. Um, yeah. Uh, there are ways, it's not something I, I teach because uh, I'm not doing it myself. So it's hard for me to, to, to teach it when I, I don't do it myself. How long before you get paid on Facebook when someone orders from you? Good question, dollar bill hustle. So um, yeah, you get a sale on Facebook Marketplace and then the money is sitting in your Facebook Marketplace account until you upload a tracking number and the that tracking number shows delivered and then a few days later, the money gets released to you. So that's kind of like the time frame uh, for when everything happens. Even if you don't have a tracking number, that shows delivery, you'll still get paid. I think it's about 21 days after the item was ordered. So uh, you're still gonna get your money as long as you do everything right. <clears throat> On Facebook, I've been having issues pulling up customer orders and it does not let me view the customer's address or order number. Have you experienced this? Uh, no, I haven't. But, you know, Facebook Marketplace is still a pretty new platform. Um, it, it has some glitches, you know, has some problems like that. So what you can try doing is clear your cache and cookies. Also try looking on your phone. 
So we found that a lot of weird issues like that, that come up on the computer, won't come up on the phone. So sometimes people have trouble deleting listings or editing or updating them from their computer, but they're able to do it from their phone. So try that, that might work for you. Yes, Home Depot tax exemption is something I also teach in my courses as well. Where is Waldo? Uh, we are in Colorado. That's where we are. Um, yeah, I mean, you can create two or three Facebook accounts. Um, sorry, I've, I, I'm writing so many notes. I have like so many things, million things running through my mind trying to do the drop shipping and create, do these updates as well. So it's just like so many ideas thrown through my head. So that's why I write them down. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you want to create multiple Facebook accounts, uh, I would advise you try it under your name. Best thing to do is do it under a friend or family member's name. Kind of a run, run their account for them and just take a percentage of the profit. Yeah, it is. All my courses are US based, US focused. Um, so I can't really guarantee that there's going to be you know, it's gonna to pertain to your market outside the US. But with that said, I have plenty of students in all my courses that are from outside the USA and doing well with it. So you have to adapt it. It's gonna be extra work for you. I'm not gonna lie about that. But like I said before, I can't I can't do things from your perspective. I just wanna be 100% honest and upfront about that. I'm not gonna to try to sell you something that, that it turns out is not even gonna work for you. Um, you know, students come in from outside the USA, they have to put in some extra work to adapt it for their market, um, but they do it. You know, the foundational information is there for people who are outside the USA. Hey, what's up, Royal Calvin? Haven't seen you in a while, man. How you, How are you? Hey, thanks for coming back. Omara says, if you were starting today, would you start with Facebook or eBay? Good question. Um, you know, eBay is so near and dear to my heart. It's like a bread and butter, always there. It's been around for a while. It's gonna be around for a while. Like we know that, right? So it has that long-term viability that we know about. Facebook Marketplace is new and it's hot and it's exciting and it works and it's so beginner friendly. So, but we just don't know where it's going. But, you know, I, was, I think I would go with Facebook Marketplace right now because it's going so well right now. It's so hot and it's just so beginner friendly. And if I can go back to when I started this, started drop shipping in 2016, and just seeing the frustrations I had, because um, I, I started on Shopify. And when I found eBay, it just felt so much easier. But if I had found Facebook Marketplace, it would have felt way, way easier, right? And I think I would have seen, seen success even faster than I did on eBay. But of course, Facebook Marketplace drop shipping didn't exist back then. Um, but I think at this point, that, that's where I would start, to be honest. But I would definitely do eBay eventually, if not really soon after that. You know, the experience that you get uh, would really help you on eBay, on Amazon, really anywhere. eBay is awesome, but I'm focused now on building up my brand. Any advice? So what do you mean by your brand? Are you selling branded products on Amazon, on Shopify? So can you be more specific about what you're doing with that? Like I can answer that question better. How do you track the item's pricing using AutoDS that's not tied to eBay? Not sure what you mean by that. Maybe you can kind of clarify your question. <clears throat> uh, keep reaching out to Facebook. Just keep reaching out. Uh, they do answer eventually. So any, any problems with the Chrome extension? Um, in the Chrome extension, there's a button to submit question for, to support. Go ahead and do that, and then we'll be able to get back to you and fix the problem for you. Matthew says, how do you deal with delivery drivers calling or texting you for info about where to deliver the item? <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> when you buy items from suppliers' websites, Walmart, Home Depot.com, for instance, uh, they're gonna ask you for the address and for a phone number. Now the phone number is for the delivery drivers. So if they have trouble finding the house 
or apartment or wherever it's going to get delivered, they'll call that number and say, hey, we're having trouble finding it. Now, ideally, you would get the phone number for the buyer and put it in there. So if that phone number is available to you, like on eBay, use the real buyer's phone number. But if it's not, you can just go ahead and use your own. Now, will that mean that you'll get calls from the tracking, from the uh, delivery drivers? Yes. Relatively, it doesn't happen a lot. But if it does, then I usually send the customer a message and ask them for clarification and then call the delivery person back and kind of re relay that to them. But usually it's hard to coordinate those things. So really, we just kind of ignore those calls, to be honest. Stop buying from China, start making. Not sure what you mean by that. All right. Oh, thanks, B. I appreciate it. I always try to be, so thanks, B. Uh, no, I haven't used Chili Hunter in a long time. Uh, we use uh, Zeke Analytics for product research, and then we list with AutoDS. Is dropshipping on Amazon restricted to wholesale due to Amazon being picky about retail dropshipping? Would you recommend or, or have an experience selling food related items from wholesale onto Amazon eBay? Um, so what we found is that for new accounts on Amazon, the, the safest way to move forward is to do wholesale dropshipping. Now retail dropshipping still works. People who stick it out, um, it'll work for them. Now what we found is that eBay I'm sorry, Amazon, they keep sending out like these suspensions to people, um, suspending them, but then we appeal it and we get it back and then we keep doing it. So if you're, if you're willing to fight through that, there is a lot of money to be made up on Amazon. So it's kind of like a good thing. You know, people are going to drop ship on Amazon. People are going to be successful with it. And if you're willing to put in the work to do that, if you're willing to push through the struggles, like getting those temporary suspensions and then fighting them and getting them back, um, which is again common, it happens, then uh, you're gonna be able to make a lot of money because a lot of other people don't wanna do that. People, they'll get that first suspension, they'll just give up, and it's you know not that hard to fight them and get your account back and then to start drop shipping again successfully, even from retail websites. Uh, thanks guys, I appreciate the love in the chat. Thanks Sean, the best man. Um, Yeah, you got to send me an example of when that happens, like a product that, that happens with, and when it happens. Like, do you have the uh, shipping cost toggled on or off? These are like important things that we need to know about so we can uh, replicate it. <clears throat> if you're listing on Facebook Marketplace and you want to keep track of the pricing of the item, how do you accomplish this using AutoDS? If you sign up for a new AutoDS account, then you can sign up and create one specifically for Facebook Marketplace. And then instead of uh, AutoDS making updates automatically onto Facebook or eBay, they'll instead just send you an email when the price or stock level changes. You can then get that email, jump on Facebook Marketplace and make the change manually. It sounds like a lot of work, it's really not that bad, especially once you get a virtual assistant who's able to do it. Uh, assuming you can get them to log in safely to your account. And that's really the key. Mm -hmm. uh, deactivation, I found that when I send a message support, I include the word lawyer. <laughs> that's interesting. I'm not sure if that's like the, uh, I don't know, I feel like other companies, as soon as you say the word lawyer, they just, kind of uh, get really quiet. So I'm not sure about that, but hey, if it works for you, that's awesome. All right. Hey, what's up? Thanks for being here. All right, so kind of answer this before. So check that out. I don't think one's better. But as a beginner, I think I would go with Facebook at the moment. Yeah, I've answered this before um, with DoorDash. 
It's not a large amount of orders. And in that, in that case, you'll have to use an alternative tracking number that does send to the right state. Um, that's kind of the way to get that done. All right. What is your opinion on Sacred Spaces says, what is your opinion on the ethics of raising the price of products on Facebook Marketplace, considering that not much work is being done to manage a Facebook Marketplace business model? <clears throat> so there's there's a few layers to this. So let's kind of like peel away these layers. So the ethics in general of raising prices on products that you resell. I don't think there's any ethical concern with that at all, as long as you're not getting into the realm of, of, uh, of uh, I just blanked on the word, um, price gouging. So this has existed for so long. Now you're buying this item from Amazon. You don't think Amazon is raising the price of the item. Um, you know, they might be buying that item for 50% for less than they're selling it to you for. Is that wrong? Well, no, that, that's the way business works, right? The business works, you buy at one price, you raise the price and you sell it for, for that price. Um, so. I don't think there's anything wrong about that. And then the market, the market determines the price. You know, people aren't willing to pay that. They don't. And if they are willing to pay that, well, that is the price that they're paying. And that has existed for a really, really, for, for, since the beginning of commerce. There's always been middlemen and they've always raised the price of the item because what's the point of doing it unless they're making money to do it. Um, now, as for the other part of your question, there's not much work being done to manage a Facebook marketplace business model. Uh, I disagree with that. There, there is work involved, right? I'm not gonna lie about that and say that this is super, super easy. Simple, yeah, but you do have to put work in, right? You have to set up your Facebook marketplace account. You gotta do the product research. You have to find the items. You have to list them up for sale and you have to do keyword research putting the right keywords into the title and the description so that people actually find the item that they're looking for and then they purchase it. And then the fulfilling of the orders. Now, where is the value that we add there as drop shippers? Well, there's a lot. There's a lot of value that we add. So first, what we are doing is we are connecting the right products up with the right people that want them. A lot of these people shopping on Facebook Marketplace, they're, they're not interested in shopping on other websites. They're not interested in looking on Amazon or or Walmart or Home Depot.com. They just want to come to one place, Facebook Marketplace. And if the item isn't available there, they're not interested in trying to find it somewhere else. So we are providing that service of that bridge between the place that it's sold and the person who wants it. In addition to that, we are also helping people find the products because a lot of the, the titles that the suppliers use aren't great and it's hard for people to find those products. If we use the right keywords and build the right titles for that product, then someone looking for that product on Facebook Marketplace is going to find it even if they did look somewhere else and were unable to find it because that website, like let's say homedepot.com, wasn't very good about showing the right products to the right people. And that's something else that we do as well. So we do add a lot of value into the system and we do put work into it that we deserve to get paid for. <clears throat> um, no, because with Facebook, Facebook dropshipping, I would not do wholesale. Um, you could, but it's retail works so well, we're only doing retail dropshipping with Facebook Marketplace. Um, I'm using Amazon as my source for eBay. There have been a lot of items not delivered claims and they side automatically with buyer if it's an Amazon tracking. Should I dump eBay for Facebook Marketplace? Um, well, first of all, I've been saying for a while, don't use Amazon for eBay drop shipping. So there's that. There's a lot of problems with it. eBay doesn't like Amazon. That's the biggest problem. So they're kind of uh, uh, petty when it comes to drop shipping from Amazon onto eBay. So yeah, I, I would just avoid it in general. Should you dump eBay for Facebook Marketplace? Uh, I don't think you should dump one for the other, but try it out. You know, like I said, Facebook Marketplace is very beginner friendly, very simple. If you tried other marketplaces and haven't seen success, 
you might see success with Facebook Marketplace because it's just so much more beginner friendly, so much simpler to get started. <clears throat> Marketplace, does the number of reviews make a big difference in sales? Do you ask for reviews from your customers? If so, how's the best way to do that? Uh, we have found that it doesn't matter. Um, I think having a bad review <clears throat> could hurt you, but having like a ton of positive reviews, I don't think it's really going to help you all that much. We haven't seen too much really of a change in terms of sales volume since getting more reviews. But you can always ask customers for reviews once the order is complete, um, and there's a way to do that on Facebook. Um, it's hard, it is hard. I mean, we're using a family one, uh, one, one that our family has used in the past and we've kind of taught them a lot and it's, it's working fine. Um, but it took a, took a few years to really like for them to understand the whole system. So really to find one specific for that, it is very, very difficult. Yeah. Uh, so I can't provide too much help there. Uh, hmm. I have a business Facebook account. Do we use this to sell on Facebook Marketplace? No. To sell on Facebook Marketplace, you really need a your individual account. You sell under your individual profile. That's the way it gets done. There was a day where my Facebook shop store somehow got connected to Marketplace and people made a sale on their Facebook shop store as it was sold through Marketplace. That's what we want to happen, okay? That is what I tried to set up. I talked all about this in my last uh, video I posted on Sunday about how my fully automated Facebook Marketplace store failed. Um, that's what I was trying to do and it just wasn't working with Facebook Marketplace. Um, unfortunately, it's a very unfortunate thing, but uh, yeah, it's like in beta right now, so. Hopefully that will be available at some point, it's just not available yet. So if you want to list on the Facebook Marketplace, if when your items to show up in Facebook Marketplace, you have to, from your individual account, list those items on the Facebook Marketplace. There's no limit on Facebook Marketplace. They don't limit the number of items you list and they don't charge you for listings. So really the sky's the limit. Now should you shouldn't just come out the gate and start listing a ton of items. That raises a red flag, but um, technically there's no limit. Uh, again, it's hard to, hard for me to answer these questions, not being from outside the USA myself. All right. So, uh, oh, that's weird. How were they able to leave you a negative review if they weren't your customer? My understanding, I could be wrong, but I thought they could only leave you a review if they were actually your customer. So that's strange. Um, I don't, I don't drop ship from eBay, so uh, and I can't really help you with that. Uh, maybe try setting up a new eBay account if that happens. I mean, it is what it is, right? I, I don't know. I'm not going to worry about those things because I don't have much control over them. Um, so it's just the way it is. <laughs> Sales are always going up and down. There's, there's, they're always going up and down depending on season. Obviously, November, December, high sales. January tend to be slower, in February. Um, but if you know, if you know the right products to list at the right time, you are always see consistent sales, right? There are some products that I call evergreen products that will sell all year long. It doesn't matter uh, you know, what the weather is, what's going on in the world, they're gonna sell all year long. You want that to be your foundation, right? Those are your core products that you're going to sell. But definitely ride trends, definitely ride seasons. You know, we're going into spring now. List up some spring items. You know, they are going to do really well um, because if people are gonna get in spring cleaning or yard work or gardening or stuff like that. So if you can ride those trends, um, you know, you have the baseline, and then those trends kind of float above that. But you know, those trends go up and down. So, so that's, uh, that's where you really see the fluctuations up there. 
Uh, I'm not sure. They just send you the payment through PayPal or Venmo, and then you ship it to them. They'll have to give you the address. Sweet. That sounds awesome. Uh, yeah, you got to list more products. Do some more product research. It's all about adding. You can't just stop adding products. You always have to be adding more and more products. All right. So I know you guys didn't quite reach the bottom of the chat, but I got to get going because I got to finish up these these updates for the course and get everything uh, squared away for that. Um, so I'm on track for this. So thanks guys so much for checking out this live stream and hanging out with me. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And remember, down below is a link to get on the wait list for the course. And you're also going to get access to that free video series once it's available. And in the meantime, you will get instant access to the free Facebook Marketplace dropshipping ebook that I have available for you. So do make sure you click that link because at the end of this month, uh, what well, after the, the course is done launching, all that's going to go away. So if you want access to that free ebook, the free video series, you know, the first chance to join the Facebook Marketplace dropshipping course, you got to sign up at the link below. All right, guys, see you there, and I'll see you next week at the next live Q&A. Bye for now.